Friends, Bill has laid out to you our pledge, our promise for a fair go for all Australians. This pledge has been at the heart of our movement for more than a century. It motivated those who fought and won the eight hour day. It's the desire that 127 years ago caused a group of wharfies to gather in a pub in Balmain and a bunch of shearers to meet under a tree in Bar Calden. Both of those groups were determined to take our nation's future into their own hands. And their successes are here, um, here in front of you today. Wayne Swan, as part of the Rudd and Gillard governments, defending 200,000 jobs during the global financial crisis, making sure that we didn't suffer generations of unemployment. It's what united South Australian women all those years ago to fight for the vote, the first women in the world to win that great victory. And it's the women in this room who will achieve 50% parliamentary representation in the Federal Parliamentary Labor Party at the next election. It's guided generations of First Nations people through resistance, recognition, land rights, reconciliation, apology, and now treaty and Makarata. It was the spirit of the LGBTI activists who marched down Sydney's Oxford Street in 1978 into a line of police. And it was present in their successors who fought to make marriage equality the law of this land. It's been handed down from worker to worker and kept alive in the shed, the lodge and the lunchroom, around the bargaining table and on the picket line. The fair go runs like a golden thread through our history and the pages of the platform we'll debate over the next three days. And its aims are simple enough. A good job with fair pay and conditions and wages that keep up with the cost of living a great education and healthcare system that doesn't depend on your bank balance or your postcode, schools that are good enough for your child to attend, hospitals that are good enough for your sick family member, Ho uh, aged care facilities that are good enough for your parents. That's what we should, as a government, seek to deliver for every Australian a safety net to catch those who fall behind and help them get back on their feet, not charity, but the dignity that is due to every person. A secure Australia, proud of its place in the world, dealing with integrity and independence with other nations, and climate change and energy policies that recognise the need for urgent action to avoid catastrophe. <laughs> At its heart is a desire familiar to every parent or grandparent, to every aunt or uncle, a wish to pass a better world onto our children than the one we inherited. Safer, kinder, fairer and more prosperous. It's been our party's mission for 127 years and if we work hard and win the trust of the Australian people, it will become reality under a shortened Labor government. Delegates, I commend the chapter to you.